Today I'm going to show you how to convert an exercise bike into a hand aerobic machine. This particular model is a Blade Z Stratum GS, uh, and, but this may work with other models. The thing I like about this model is it has a big heavy flywheel, which is good for keeping the aerobic action smooth and continuous. So that's why I chose this model. This may be possible with, with other models. I do recommend one with a flywheel though for the, the smoothness of action. So in order to get this ready for hand aerobics we're going to have to invert it into another position and we have to make a few changes. One of them I've already made which is the handlebars here. I have loosened the handlebar adjustment and swung them all the way to the front as that, that is going to form the foot base of holding the front end up. Let me show you how to adjust the handlebars. There's two screws, 10 millimeter hex under there, which you'll need to loosen up, swing the handlebars forward, and retighten them good. Another change we're going to need to make is we're going to have to take the the video display off because it won't be in a good position to be able to see it when we have this thing inverted. Another change is to take the straps off of the pedals as they aren't needed when you're when you're using your hands. Here's here's the strap that came off of this. The pedals are pretty comfortable to hang on to, but if they're too uncomfortable for you, you can wrap them with tape. So this is the basic machine. Like I say, it's a Blade Z Stratum GS. Um, a couple notes on safety. Be sure that you have a chain guard on, as this one does. The chain guard is pretty important any time. But it's really important when we're operating the pedals with our hands as our hands are very close to the chain and sprockets. So do not operate this without the chain guard on whatsoever. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tip this thing up and show you how it works uh, in the inverted position to use with the hands. Okay, so this is the exercise bike in the inverted position where we can get to the pedals from the back of it now. And let me show you that I took the, the video display off and uh, I've taped it temporarily to the frame here just with some tape. Uh, we'll make a, a more permanent uh, installation for that later, but at least you'll be able to see the calories and the speed and so on when you're using your hands to pedal this thing. Now there's a problem. The pedals are too low. Uh, one would almost have to sit on the floor, which is not feasible, to turn the pedals. So we need to raise the back end of this thing up to get it to a good height. And the height you will choose to suit yourself. I'm going to raise it up uh, here to a height that works for me. Okay, so I have raised the back of the exercise bike up to a height that's convenient for reaching the pedals. I've used a, an old plastic toolbox and a couple of 2x4s in this case to achieve the optimum height. This should be considered just a temporary uh, adjustment and you might want to make a fancier wooden stand for this thing uh, so that it's uh, more stable and permanent. This is just for testing purposes here. This just happened to achieve the height that I wanted for the back and the pedals. The chair will then be appropriately chosen to be comfortable and able to 
put you at a height where you can reach the the arm pedals. The other thing I like about this particular model is the resistance is infinitely adjustable. There's a a pad or shoe here which rubs against the flywheel which is infinitely adjustable with this knob here so you can start with any resistance that's comfortable for you anything from virtually none at all to almost impossible to turn and this is what will get you aerobic very quickly or slowly as the case may be The other problem is when this particular model is inverted like this, this lower strut for the rear is in the way. It's actually right in your face as you're sitting in the chair. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this brace. It's, it attaches with just a couple of uh, hex uh, head screws. So I'll just take that off. Okay, so I've taken the the rear uh, stand off that was in the going to be in the way of the operator, and make it a little easier to see around. Um, this is the piece that came off. You can just set it aside and, and save the bolts and put it back on later if need be. So I'm going to get on here and show you uh, how this thing works. As I said, the, the infinitely adjustable resistance feature is, is the best thing about this. It uh, enables you to choose a, a resistance that you can uh, suit yourself for uh, the intensity which you would like. So here is the arm exerciser in action. You can adjust the chair height, as I said, to, to suit yourself. I can see the LCD display okay. Probably something a little better than tape would be nice. In this case, I'm hanging my feet over the end of the thing, it seems to be the best uh, position for this. So there it is, how to get aerobic exercise using only your arms and upper body. Uh, this is good for people who have limited mobility or have a temporary or permanent uh, foot or leg disability. You may be able even able to use this from a, a wheelchair if it's properly sized. Before you go out and buy one of these be sure and and uh, invert the thing or test it or measure it to make sure it's going to work. I have fairly long arms so this works for me but you should you should try one before you buy it. This particular model, the Blade Z Stratum, uh, sells at big box stores for about 300 uh, or you can get a used one. I got this one on Craigslist for a hundred, so it's much uh, more reasonable than the the big professional models, which have a flywheel for hand aerobics, which is available at some gyms. Just another safety note on the holding the flywheel up off the floor, as you see here. This is just a temporary test setup. It's a plastic toolbox and a couple 2x4s. When that flywheel is spinning freely, 
it has a lot of momentum and is very dangerous. If that flywheel were, if that were to fall to the floor with the flywheel spinning, it would shoot across the room and do damage. I know because that did happen to me. So be sure you have a good brace on the back, um, a very stable one, and that it's not going to uh, fall off of that and then the fly will fall to the floor. Thank you for watching.